Beginner's Grind episode 10. We are already at episode 10. We are not 10 days into it. We are 8 days, 14 hours into the Beginner's Grind. I actually think that we need to hit this right tower because our Lord is not skilled up. So I think we actually need to hit the right tower to stop that immunity from going on. This way we can continue to get that uh, speed break on the dragon. Which is going to kind of suck, but, um, yeah, because we're not going to get the achievement from this, but I think we do actually need to hit the, uh, hit the right tower on this. So anyway, uh, episode 10, we are eight days into the game. We beat Dragons B10 already. Uh, we need to, I'm just showing you guys the team, beat it a couple of days ago. It's not a super consistent team. The biggest thing right now is that Lauren's not skilled up and we have terrible, terrible, terrible runes. Also, when Spectra is second awake and that's going to be much, much, much better. So... Let's uh, actually, since we have that slow on him, can we actually start going for the... Ah, I really don't want to hit this. I really don't want to hit this tower because you know we're going to get uh, some damage, right? Uh, let's go. Let's go for this now. Let's go for this now. Let's see if she's going to... Okay, so we take... Oh, she's completely dead. Okay. Well, that sucks. But I think we should still be fine, even without, uh, even without the, the what's-her-face. But yeah, we've we've done this before. It's just not a super consistent team. We just need to be faster for the most part. And then we also... Two-way Spectre would be great. And we have zero skill-ups on Lauren. But we do have a Dragons uh, Dragons V10 team done. Uh, what else do we have for today? Oh, we have to do our... We still have the Essence Halls. Because it's the weekend right now. So we have the Essence Halls available. So we want to do those. Also, some extra tankiness. Because if she had a, if she had some more tankiness, she would have survived that too. But we want to try to not even hit the towers, uh, if possible. Right, but Lauren needs a uh, skill to... Well, everything needs better runes, but Lauren needs... Um... <laughs> everything needs better runes, but Lauren does need... Uh, we're not going to actually get... Maybe... We shouldn't keep that. We shouldn't keep that. Yeah, but we didn't actually get any achievements for this because this is not the first time that we beat uh, dragons. So we already beat it before. Like, nothing popped up because we already had it beaten before. We were just supposed to do a focus attack, but we didn't do the focus attack because we hit the right tower first because I want that to actually uh, show that the team the team does work. It's just not a consistent team. It's not a team that we can farm. It. Let me rephrase. It is a team that would work just fine if we... Number one, had the skill-ups. Number two, had better runes. The team itself is fine. Um, our runes and our skill-up situation make it a team that's not as not consistent enough to farm Dragon's B10 like that. So we just have to uh, work on getting more skill-ups for Spectre. We need to get, work on getting more skill-ups for the Lauren. Both of those very, very important. Um, and then we have to also improve our runes. So just farming... Just lower levels, like BA, B9 of whatever, if you guys are following along, do, trying to do the same. Um, if your B10 team doesn't work, if your B12 team doesn't work, that just means that you have to farm a little lower level, like one or two levels lower, to try to get those runes to, uh, to improve your units, to improve your efficiency, and then usually improve your speed. A lot of times if you're doing something like this, right? If you're doing something like this with the, uh, with the Spectra, with the Lauren, and with the Lapis, a lot of times it's improving because you're, you're trying to deny the enemy turns. So when you're doing something like that, you need to improve the speed and the accuracy to effectively... And the skill-ups too. The skill-ups, like the activation rate skill-ups especially. Um, and the, uh, the cooldown skill-ups. So those speed, accuracy, and those skill-ups are going to help to reduce the enemy's attack age as much as possible. So uh, one of the things, if you see the lore in here... Uh, not the Lauren. If you see the Lauren here, she's blue and uh, doesn't look like Lauren at all um, because she's not. So the Lapis has too low of speed. I mean, it's the runes that the game gave us for Lapis, which is fine for farming, but uh, too low of speed for dragons and also too low of accuracy for, like, if we're going to use her in Dragons B12, for example, she would have too low accuracy for Dragons B12. Uh, Spectra is not even fully skilled up, which is kind of crazy. Like, this is actually an important skill to have on him. Uh, and we're also working on Second Awakening him right now. We're kind of close. I wonder if we can actually get it done before the end of the video. That would be nice, right? Uh, Spectra actually gets much better. Um, 
after he's it's a much, much, much better after he's second bacon. But this is just a hot doo doo. Uh, <laughs> am I quoting Foxy now? It's a hot garbage Spectra. It's not enough accuracy. Uh, he's got he's got just. My wall is falling down, guys. My wall is literally falling down in the middle of the day. I can't win this week. It's literally falling down. Wow. Fantastic. So so everything is coming apart this week. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful week. Uh, so Spectre should be speed crit damage and HP or speed crit damage and accuracy. Spectre's most important things is a lot of speed, crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy. You actually don't need that much attack. You, you, you don't really need to worry about attack on Spectre because this, this doesn't do damage. This, we don't really care about the damage. Uh, and this is damage based on enemy max HP. So the more important thing is crit rate and crit damage on this than attack, right? It's not like Lucian where Lucian needs more attack. It's, it's, it's uh, he just needs a lot of crit rate, crit damage. Uh, Sigmaris, kind of the same thing, but Sigmaris, you also do want some attack power on Sigmaris for his like skill one and skill two. Um, but this doesn't do any damage at all. This doesn't need attack to do the damage. So Spectra two of his three skills don't even need, and this one is based on speed. So really more important to have speed, crit rate, crit damage uh, and accuracy on Spectra than anything else. So of course, we don't have that. We have uh, HP, because this is all we had at our disposal when we were ruining him, crit damage. And uh, this is not the rune. People are going to complain about it. They're like, Bagel, you're wrong Spectra wrong. This is wrong Spectra. Yes, this is absolutely wrong Spectra. Uh, it, this is just what we had to complete the set with that at the time that he was ruined. He's actually better than you. Surprisingly, he's better than what he was before. Um, but yeah, we just didn't have, like, let's, let's see the swift ones at our disposal. So this is actually, actually we can, that's actually better. That's actually, so he's already a better Spectre right now. Um, I don't know why we need to upgrade this on video, but this is definitely more along the lines of what we want on Spectre. This is, I'm just showing you guys how to improve your Spectra is the take, oh god damn it, why? Why? <laughs> oh, how to build a doo-doo Spectra in five steps, guys. Do the, f the rune was bad enough as it is, Comptos. You don't need to make it any worse. You, trust me, the rune was all Okay, so. <laughs> so, so, we're on a roll. We're on a roll, guys. It's fantastic. Um, but yeah, Spectra, we do still need the skills, the two scalps for this. Uh, we do need these scalps. This is an important scalp for already. This is not really important until you second awaken him and then you need all of his skill ups for second awakening him because you, you can't actually do it without having his max skill ups. Um, Lauren has no skill ups, so the, the, the speed break, you, you, you want the harmful effect rate, right? You want the speed break here. Um, you don't really care too much about the damage on Lauren because she's not really a damage dealer. And then this one, harmful effect rate, that's the strip. We need that. We need this. And also, cool time turn minus one. We absolutely need this to be scaled up for a reliable lore and for dragons. And plus 37 speed is nothing. You need way, you need at least 100 more speed. At least 100 more speed on this. Um, so just the fact that we're able to do it with such garbage. I mean, she does have good accuracy, but if the activation rate isn't there, right? If the harmful effect rate plus 10, harmful effect rate plus 10, plus 5, uh aren't there, then you could have accuracy and the things will still just not activate based on the actual skill, so the accuracy won't even come into play, right? Because first, the you have to see if the skill activates, as, as far as like the code to do the debuffs. Um, first, you have to see if the skill actually activates, and then after you do the, accuracy, uh, the, the activation check, then you go through the accuracy resistance. So if it doesn't actually activate the, the debuff, then accuracy resistance doesn't even matter. So, um, just food for thought. Uh, yeah, so she's absolutely way, 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 way too slow to actually control anything. She needs to be so, 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 so much faster. She's, she's, I think we, I think at the time we did not have any speed for, now we have speed. So now we can actually ruin her a little, <laughs> a little bit better. I wouldn't say better, I would say less terrible, right? So that's, that's going to be the situation. We're going to switch this over to this, um... Not the one that I would want to go for necessarily, but uh, for early game, I would want to do Swift and whatever two set gives her good enough speed and accuracy and some HP or whatever. But uh, yep, just 
just make her fast with good accuracy is the biggest thing. You don't need to worry about crit rate. You don't need to worry about crit damage. You don't need to worry about anything. Just... <laughs> Just speed and accuracy. Uh, you do need those skill ups on at least the second skill. The, the second skill is so important to have that skill up on. And the more you use her for Necropolis, if you guys are using her for Necropolis, the first skill actually is important too. That's slow. But if you're using her with Spectra, for example, for dragons, because um, you wouldn't be using Spectra in Necropolis. If you're using her with, with Spectra in dragons, then um, you already have a slow. The Spectra is going to be landing the slow and stuff. So. You, so if she doesn't land the slow, you still have a second, two, two different units that do a slow. So you're not too worried about uh, whether she lands that or not. Uh, same thing with Giants with Shannon, because Shannon has a slow as well. So you have two units that do slow in there. So it's not really as important to have the skill ups on the first skill. For Lauren, it's more important to just have the skill ups on the... Do we have anything? On? No, we don't have anything on that. Uh, more important to just have the skill ups on the second skill. So... She's a little bit less terrible now. Fantastic. Uh, what else do we have? Vertiheal. <laughs> uh, which actually, Vertiheal is... I just wanted to try to get him on violent with crit rate. He doesn't need to be on violent necessarily. Um, but I figure, like, why not? We had some violent runes, so... Yeah, we had... we had Mostly because we had a violent with crit rate on here. And I'm like, let's just stick that on there. I guess this is not how we want him. We want Vertiheal... To still be faster than this, but also be the slowest unit on the team. That's kind of the situation here. We still need to be fastest, but then everything else would need to be faster than that. So currently, um, currently Lapis is still the slowest unit on the team, which sucks because it would definitely make an improvement if she was going before Vertiheal, because then you would get more value out of that attack age, um, that attack age increase that he provides with his passive. So. Uh, so yeah, we, we definitely want to try. I mean, we can just do that easily with some grinds, right? Some grinds or gems. If we farm, like, not even RF, because we're not ready for R5. We just get some grinds and gems from, like, Labyrinth, um, or from, like, R3, because we can do R3. I wouldn't suggest farming anything lower than R3, but, like, just a tiny bit, just to at least get some things to make this a little bit faster would be better. Or, or even better, without even farming R3 or anything, to just... Um, get some runes that have more speed on them would be nice because this you could just uh, you could definitely make improvements here uh, and just get a rune that has get a revenge rune from with more speed on it right speed and crit rate and accuracy and that's what you'd want to go for on here so yeah and then there's no speed here I mean if you get if you got a oh, we do we do have that um, I was gonna say if you got a uh, a speed gem for here it doesn't need to be crazy fast. Actually, it should be much faster. It should be like... For Dragon's V12, it should be speed, crit damage, attack. It should be speed, crit damage, attack. Not uh, not attack on slot 2 for, for, um, for Lapis there. But anyway, I'm just talking and talking and talking a whole bunch of whatevers. This is still a 4-star... Okay, so that's still a 4-star rune. So we definitely have room for... <laughs> I don't want to say room for improvement because this is all so terrible. It's all so, so, so terrible. Um, but yeah, we can go through now and we could just delete. We're at the point where we could just delete any... Honestly, we could delete a, 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 so much of everything. Not even just... Uh, not even just... I really just want to delete all these five-star runes too. But I know that's not reason... That's not really... Because some of these, like... Some of these we can actually use, right? Because you see we don't have a lot of slot, uh, slot fives. Like... Instinctively, I'm like, just sell everything. But early game, you do need some some of something, right? You need some kind of runes of some sort. We, I don't want to say keep that for... Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, they're all so bad. They're, like, each, each rune is worse than the last. Only reason I'm keeping some of these is like, what if we need to make a... Like, we need to complete a set. Because these are all, these are just so, so terrible. Beyond terrible. Yeah. So we can go through and we can at least, let's at, yeah, let's at least, uh, man, instinctively I just want to sell, like, literally every rune here. But we can at least go through and we can sell all the four stars. Because there's absolutely no reason we need to keep any four stars. I would say that we could definitely and instinctively we should 
sell way, 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 way more. But Justin, let's let's hold on to them just in case we need to complete a two set or something like that. Or we need to be like, oh, well, we don't have any any good swift runes, but we need to complete a swift set. And we need something, just some fourth rune. That's at least better than nothing. Anyway, uh, I don't even remember what we're, what, are we, what are we supposed to be doing today. Dragons B10. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you Dragons B10. Um, quests. We got to work on TOA. I haven't really been focused on TOA. We got to do summons. Water B10. Okay, so here's the situation with Water B10. I've been trying to open Water B, uh, Water Secret Dungeons on my main, uh, which is kind of cheating, but um, I've been trying to fo uh, try to open Water... Well, I mean, you could just have friends that open Water, water Secret Dungeons. It's like... You can do that either way. Um, we need skill ups for two units. We need skill ups for Spectra, and we need skill ups for uh, Andril, because for whatever reason, Bagel decided that Andril was a good idea. So we need three uh, over there. We need three over there, and we're s completely skilled up. Every skill up we put into this guy all went into skill one. It was so, I don't want to say nice, the opposite of nice, depressing. Um, so yeah, we need six more skills for him. The thing about the water Hall of Water is that I was looking at the dungeons that overlap, and there is a Water Griffin dungeon, and then there is a Water um, Inferno dungeon. So that's why we were trying to open uh, Water dungeons because we wanted one of uh, at least there's a, there's at least a better chance to get something instead of being like, oh well, let's open uh, maybe we'll get a, a Spectra. We don't need to get a Spectra, right? Um, necessarily, we just need any Griffins to scale them up. So we don't need to farm like a little bit of Hall of Fire, a little bit of Hall of this, a little bit of Hall of that. Like, just, let's just do the one that has the two units that we need to scale. We also need to scale Lauren. So uh, we have to run some Hall of Light. But that's current. That's kind of the current situation. Is we're desperately in need of skill ups for the units that we're trying to build because they're not even seeing their full potential because they don't have skill ups. And I'm definitely not devil monning. Uh, I'm definitely not devil monning some of these three stars. Um, what else do we have? Hall of Dark B10. Also, we have all of these all of these little things that I was working on in the, the meantime, right? So we'll do those. We'll get some. We have no we have no crystals, no crystals at all. Hall of Light B10. Uh, let's uh, not Hall of Light. Uh, Hall of Dark. Sorry. Let's say Hall of Light there. Hall of Dark. No. Um, we're just gonna use this. We're just gonna keep going with this, and uh, we'll time lapse it, whatever. And we'll come back when we're done with uh, B10 because we're just going to farm it with this. Uh, we're just going to keep doing every progressive level with this team until we beat it. Uh, until we beat the Hall of Dark B10 and then get our... Because it's 150 crystals and we need crystals so badly right now. So we're going we're gonna to do that. Hall of Dark B10 is done. We did this whole list in the wrong order. It looks like I'm looking at the wall, but I'm looking at the list. Listen, the list is on the other side for me than it is for you. I'm looking at the list. I'm not just looking at the wall. Uh, so we did, what did we do? Dragons B10. We talked a little bit about the quest. We didn't do quests. We didn't do summons. We talked about the water B10. We did the dark B10. Rune Hall. There's no Rune Hall. We looked at the runes. There's nothing to haul. We got, we got nothing. See, the challenge completed here. When there's a new challenge that is not completed yet and just gets completed, the little thing pops up with the challenge uh, completed there. So we did actually do uh, dragons earlier than this, but... Um, so that's why I didn't pop up with the challenge completed just there. Do we have anything here? Not even any. I, re I don't even know why I was going to look at that blue five-star rune. Jeez. We've sank so low, guys. We've sank so low that I'm looking at blue five-star runes. I'm like, oh, this looks a pe- No. Bagel. Don't. 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 Don't backslide. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So what do we have to do? Oh, let's check out these, uh, challenges. Let's check out actually what we get from here. So we get- Crystals, we get the anniversary stuff. We get the uh we'll kind of use those devil mons later. We'll decide what's the next thing. Like when we really feel pressured to build something that requires devil mons, then we'll say, okay, let's use those devil mons. So we'll save them until then. That's garbage. Come on. Okay, well that's you they gave us nothing. They gave us n not even bad runes. They gave us, like, no runes at all. Okay, let's do this uh, try to snipe Lucian event. Because that's basically what this is. Four available summons. Let's go. And then we'll do the... No, I'm not. No, no, no. I mean, I guess we'll just keep going throughout the... I, I don't think we're even going to... Excuse me. I don't think we're even going to... 
get the Lucian if we get the Lucian just yet. I think we'll still let it uh, let it simmer and decide by the uh, by the end of the thing. But I think we really should get Lucian because that's going to be the most important thing for arena offense. So this unit would be great for right now. No, 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 no. Uh, would be great for right now, but uh, I'm tempted to do that. But I really think uh, really think Lucian. We should do Lucian. So anyway, let's see what we get from here, and then let's collect our other stuff, and then let's do our summons. We've got a lot of uh, unknown scrolls. <sighs> nothing! Okay. So we got, yeah, we got nothing. Again. I was hoping for at least a, like another mystical or a hundred crystals. That would have been fantastic. It's going to be energy. Oh, okay. I'll take crystals, I guess. I would have taken energy too. I'll take anything at this point. We're so low on resources. I'll take anything. So we got some of these. We got some of these. We got some of these. We have. What do we have? Uh, yep. Oh, we gotta continue on TOA. I really wasn't trying to push too much. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. Nice. Very nice. Um, I really wasn't trying to push too much on TOA. So we got scenario mount size. We got this. We got this. Yeah, I was doing a couple of the hell modes just to get some extra crystals. So, Hall of Light, Hall of Dark. 150 crystals, 150 crystals, fantastic. Uh, we got this, Necropolis, I really wasn't pushing on that. D I did seven? Okay. Well, apparently I did seven, I really wasn't uh, too worried about that. We don't have a Necropolis team just yet. We have one LD. Well, boss, which we just did apparently. Uh, and then we have just these. And maybe we'll get no. I guess I guess not. I was gonna say maybe we'll get uh, up to a mystical scroll or something like that from there. Hooray! Okay. I mean, rune hall. We don't really have a rune hall. There's no runes. There's no runes to even look at. We got uh, what do we got? Nothing. More nothing. More nothing. Yep. Got just some stuff that needs to be deleted, for the most part. Just some stuff that needs to be deleted. Yeah, this was this managed to dodge speed. It was it was a purple six star rune. I was like, oh great, we could put this on so many things. Um, if it rolls speed, every single one dodge speed, fantastic. Uh, so we really don't have. Oh, that's not bad. We can actually stick that on something. Uh, we just got that one. So we have two reaps. I don't know how we have reaps. Maybe something. An event gave us reaps or something like this. We could, if this rolls speed, this would be great. I mean, it, good enough for the time being. Definite new definition of great. Nope, rolled the one that I wanted the least. Fantastic, fantastic. Because at least if we got attack, right? If we got speed and attack, then we could still use our friend. Jeez, oh, game, you're killing me. You are killing me. Okay. Uh, fantastic. Bagel, now you know how it feels to be the rest of us. No, I know every day. I know every day. I just farm so much all the time. That, um... Yeah, and don't keep the crown. Oh, come on, man. I would have taken just stats for the sake of stats. Like, if it rolled two speed and two flat... Uh, not two flat defense. Two speed and two defense percentage, I would have been like, that's a, that's a huge win. Flat defense and resistance. Right? Right? The- the- Even- This game! <laughs> this game! Alright, uh, well, yeah, we- And just a continuation of not having anything to use on here. So this is like, if- mo All these runes are basically if we have to- If we have to use these runes, we will use these runes. Um, trying to not use any of those runes, because they're- They're all bad. Every single one of them is bad. Um... Yeah, we got a plenty of unknown scrolls. We could just do this. And I think we call it a day. I mean, not, we're just recapping things. Showing the Dragon's team, but uh, not consistent enough to... we With the runes that we have and the skills that we have, again, I'm just reiterating now. Uh, with the runes and the skills that we have, we can't quite farm it like that. But if we just had more skill-ups and better runes, we could. See if we get anything shiny from here. Let's see if we get a Griffin or an Inferno would be fantastic. I'll go for it's just a giant monster orgy. 
<laughs> I'm like trying to find where the which three star it was. I'm like, which one is the three star? Yeah, let's stick uh, ten pulls for uh, Mystics when come to us. Come to us like ten pulls for LDs. That would be very painful. LDs are the ones that you don't want to do ten pulls on. Mystics are the ones you want to do ten pulls on. Griffins. 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 Another monster orgy. Okay, we got bastards. Fantastic. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted griffins, so we can actually leave those out. We have eight mysticals, and we have one LD. We got a goal. Griffins, please. Drunken master. A serpent. Where? Ah, uh, that is gonna be nice. Okay, so we got that one. Maybe could be useful. I mean, nice scalp, whatever. Penguin knight and LD lightning. What do we get? Thrain, please. What am I gonna do with this guy? Why do we get? Uh, oh. Okay, so so how do we get another LD? Because we we need to get some kind of LD something that's exciting. I think the most exciting thing that we got today is uh, this. So fantastic! Before we go, let's pop another sanctum of energy, and the next video will be. Oh, that was an achievement. Okay. Hey, there we go. Uh, so the next video we are going to do. Uh, what is the next video I'm going to do? We're going to do some TOA hard. Uh, TOA hard. We're going to do some TOA, um, and then what are we going to do? Second awakened Spectra, definitely in the next video because he's so close right now. He's so close. He needs three skill ups, and he is 83%. So definitely next video is going to be second awakened Spectra. Um, hopefully better runes, hopefully maybe some skill ups on Lauren. I think tomorrow we're just gonna try to go hard and in and, 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 and trying to skill up Lauren because, man, I wish it was easier to get skill ups for these, for, for her. I really do, because we, we need five skill ups. We need five skill ups for Lauren. I don't think we have any, any Laurens that we could do, right? I don't think we have any. Yeah, we're one away from doing Let's do one level of TOA hard. Let's do one level of TOA hard, and then we'll do our... I want some kind of light... Oh, I want some kind of lightning. We're not going to get some kind of lightning, are we? We could have actually just soloed this with Lapis. It would have been faster. <laughs> the, that was the right one to team up with, Inugami. That was definitely the right one. So. Why is she not one-shotting these waves? Jeez. Well, the the passive, right? The passive from the uh, elemental, the light elemental. Yeah. Anyway, let's do our little whatever it is, our summoning stones, and we'll call it a day. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys, hope you guys, if you are doing your own re-rolling for nat fives, I really hope you got some nat fives by now. Jeez, Luis. All right, let's see. Panda, boom. You know what? I would have taken Inferno from there. Anyway, I mean, they're, they're here's the thing. They are farmable skill-ups, right? The Infernos are farmable skill-ups. However, we need six, and when you get... Because it's rare to get a three-star as a drop from these, these, uh, these scenario uh, levels, right? So there's three that you could potentially get versus the one... Oh no, sorry, two that you could potentially get. Who, who's, who's got one? This one. So if, if you get a three-star drop from Aiden, it's always going to be a Grim Reaper. If you get a three-star drop from Vrofagus Vrof, Vrof, Ruins, it's going to be a one in three chance of getting Inferno, Werewolf, or high, high Elemental. And we are in super... First off, we're in super Werewolf mode. Uh, we, we've summoned so many Werewolves. Uh, I don't think they're here. Oh, we got one there. I think they're here, right? Yeah, we summoned six, six plus the other one, so seven werewolves. And I think I even used some for food, because I think we even summoned more than that. Um, but yeah, we've summoned a whole lot of werewolves and not a whole lot of infernos. And we, when we did get infernos, the skill ups all went to skill one. We max skill one before anything went into any other skill ups. So that's fantastic. Because we didn't even need to max skill one on that inferno. I'm I'm curious to see if he's 
going to be any good because I was cu I was been curious for a long time. He seems like he's got some potential. He's got some turn cycling. He's got some AOE uh, attack power breaks, and he's got this reduced the attack bar to zero. So between that and the turn cycling from here, um, seems like he's got some potential. But I guess we'll see. We want to run him high. Uh, we, we would want to run him high fast with high crit rate, so he keeps critting uh, and cycling his uh, attack gauge. But it's hard to make him fast with 98 base speed, so... Don't entirely know what I was thinking, but maybe we can make him work. Maybe. No promises. We may or may not be able to make him work. I should have just gone for a safe and a steady, already well-known unit that was already good, but... You know, I, I sometimes I just go crazy, right? Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are having a great week and whatever. Uh, and I'll see you as always in the next one.